How are you doing, everybody? What's going on? This week, we are doing a full reset week in my life. One or two videos ago, I did a reset day on a Sunday where I was trying to set myself up for success. And we're still, we're still on that journey. We're still on the journey. So it's Monday morning and we are starting bright and early. And by bright and early, I mean I woke up at eight. But we're gonna try to get this apartment in line this morning. I'm gonna chat a little bit about what my plans are. Um, but first I need to make a smoothie because I want breakfast and I'm hungry. Much better. Have my moisturizer on. I let my hair air dry last night while I was sleeping, which I literally never do. It's crazy today, but honestly, it's like curlier than usual, I feel like. <sighs> Hi, how are you? So we are doing a reset week. I did, I, like I just said, I did a vlog like two vlogs ago maybe, where I had a little reset day. I was trying to set myself up for success. And then that week following kind of went to shit. Didn't really, the, the vlog I was planning on doing didn't really work out. So hopefully this week is a little better. I, I, like I've been saying, I feel like I've been kind of in a rut. If you're new here, my name's Alexis. I'm 26, I live in New York City. This is my studio apartment. I need to go grocery shopping. I had a crazy busy weekend, so I was not able to like set up for the week on Sunday, which is totally fine. Um, and because I don't work a traditional like nine to five job, it's not like I had to like wake up early and go to work this morning, so we're all good with that. I just, I'm trying to wake up earlier. I'm trying to eat healthier. I'm trying to be more active in better ways. Besides doing YouTube, I also am a performer. So I audition mainly in like musical theater. So I have a dance audition today, this afternoon. I actually have like an appointment for this. Plans for Monday. Make a meal plan. Go to my audition. Go grocery shopping. Clean my apartment. And time permitting, do my laundry. So good morning. Welcome to the vlog. I have to leave in 30 minutes. I was gonna try this crazy thing where I didn't have coffee this morning and I had tea. A little backstory about me and coffee. Like I know I should probably be taking a little break from coffee. I have had a cup of coffee every single day of my life since I was 12. I'm addicted, I'm obsessed. I was considering trying out having tea this morning, but I feel like that's a bad idea because sometimes I get really bad migraines if I don't have coffee and if I'm gonna like do a day where I attempt not to have it, it probably shouldn't be a day where I have an audition. So maybe we'll try that tomorrow. Oh, also I don't like tea, but I'm really trying to teach myself to like it because I know it's so good for you. I'm gonna drink my coffee and do my hair and makeup for my audition. Got my hair done, got my outfit on. complete. I have a scene. We'll talk about it more when I get home. I am so hungry, but I want to go to the grocery store. Um, so I went into Pret and got this little Cobb shaker. It's like a really mini Cobb salad. And I feel like that will hold me over until I get home. So I'm going to eat this, head to Trader Joe's, and then head home. All right, attempting to do a somewhat speedy grocery haul because I want to make it to the laundromat before they close. So I went to Trader Joe's, I spent $83. I've been trying to stock up on like more bulk things. You'll see what I mean. So it's been like more expensive the last few times I've gone because I want to be like a little healthier and have healthier options for things. But I feel like I don't have that many like cooking or baking things like almond flour or something. Vegetable broth, bell pepper, bell pepper, oat milk creamer, garlic, and onion. Bananas, diced tomatoes, two cans of coconut milk, tikka masala curry sauce, flaxseed meal, 
toasted coconut granola bar, almond flour, candied ginger, frozen broccoli. I love these little things that Trader Joe's has because I feel like I never use garlic and ginger fast enough. They have crushed garlic and crushed ginger that you put in the freezer. Coconut flakes, cauliflower rice, more agave, zoodles, tomato paste, basil, coconut oil, fresh broccoli, baby spinach, cucumbers, and chicken and ground turkey. That is my little haul. Uh, it's kind of expensive, but I think it's because I got so many expensive things. I'm gonna put these away and then run to the laundromat. And then we're gonna catch up on how my day has been going, what's been going on. Got my laundry in just in time. And then I decided to run to Dunkin and just get a small coffee because I felt like I didn't have that much this morning. I tried salted caramel instead of my usual caramel. It's fine. Kind of tastes like a candle. Stopped at another grocery store and picked up a few things that I couldn't find at Trader Joe's. I got asparagus, zucchini, cloves and nutmeg that I need for a recipe that I don't have. Oh man, I bought more basil thinking I didn't have it, but I do have basil. And then I got lemons and limes. Okay. Gonna switch my laundry. And yeah, went to go switch out my laundry and it was taking so much longer than usual. It was broken. So the one washer finished, but the wash like is just starting on the other one now. So laundry is gonna take a little longer than I thought it would. All right, so I really need to take a shower at some point. Bed is made, I'm back. I'm gonna try to clean as much as my room as I can before I shower and make dinner and everything. cleaned for a long time. I really want to take a shower. I feel gross because I've been running around all day, but I think I want to cook dinner and then shower. We're going to make butter chicken because that's a recipe on this meal plan that I found. And it sounds delicious. I've never cooked butter chicken before, so let's do it. Uh, I did it, but I made cauliflower rice and butter chicken. I added sweet potatoes and broccoli so I could have a little more. So I'm gonna rinse off, then I'm gonna eat. I am so productive today. I feel like I've gotten so much done today. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I'm going on a little morning walk through the park. I'm trying something new. I'm gonna drink tea while I walk through the park, specifically ginger turmeric tea, because that's the only tea I really like. All the other teas I'm like trying to learn how to like. All right, have my tea, my fanny pack. I'm gonna go for a walk through the park, drink my tea, take out my trash, and drop off a sample of Bennett's stool to his vet because we had a little worm incident but he's all good now, I'm pretty sure. That's what they're checking. Okay. <laughs> Such a good day outside. 
There's like not many people in the park at all. I don't really know why. It's not like super early at all. It's beautiful. I love a morning Central Park walk. It honestly felt so nice to wake up this morning and have all those things done. I'm so glad I did my laundry yesterday and I cleaned. Waking up to a clean apartment, there's nothing like it. And now I'm gonna make like an actual breakfast. I had a banana this morning too, but now I'm gonna make an actual breakfast. And so I found these recipes online. Did I say this yesterday when I was cooking the butter chicken? I found some recipes online that are just like all around better for your gut health and for your digestion and everything. I've been like having some issues for the past few weeks. I keep talking about how I've had really bad health anxiety. And so I just have been like wanting to be healthier. Also, Bennett getting worms really freaked me out. I have worms, but I feel like that's hard to get. So I like psychotically wash my hands and make sure I'm good like with all of that. But anyways, so this is supposed to help if you have a parasite. I also just don't have health insurance this month. So I think that's kind of stressing me out. It's literally going to start in like a few days. I don't know. I just get really anxious and then I have like panic attacks that mimic the symptoms of like what I think I have. So I don't know. It just, it's, it's been really, really bad the last few weeks. I'm not going to like dive into it and bore you with all of the details of it, but it's like really hard to tell. Like people are always like, listen to your body. You're probably right. But I feel like people with high anxiety, that line is not for you. I daily convince myself I have like diseases. As a child, I would convince myself I had like sicknesses and illnesses that like I physically wouldn't have even been able to get at that time in my life. Um, so, but it's fine. When I'm out with my friends and everything, it's super fun and it's a blast and I don't think about any of my problems. And then I get home to my apartment and I'm sitting here alone and I'm like Googling all of these things about my health and I'm like spiraling. So I feel like it's really, it's not a balanced even lifestyle. Like it's like super highs and then super lows. So I'm trying to just like, regulate that in case you were just so curious about how I'm doing mentally. As we all know, I don't really love breakfast. After like four months, I'm finally sick of my classic breakfast that I have been eating like every single day, which was like some form of potato, like a hash brown with chicken sausage, bell pepper, red onion, and an egg. I'm sick of it. I want something better. So I found this recipe that I'm going to make that sounds delicious. It's a zucchini turkey breakfast skillet. So it's zucchini, turkey, Organic salsa, I didn't get that. Oh, but I got a can of diced tomatoes, so I'll just use that instead. I bought a zucchini yesterday and I've literally never cut one or cooked one in my life, so. new recipes have me feeling inspired. I'm cooking with coconut oil, which I never do, but that's what the recipe said. Like you have to know this is huge for me. I have been on like a cooking hiatus for almost six months. I never want to cook anything. All I have is pasta. I feel like I put too much coconut oil in. This is low key delicious. I need my little egg, and then it's the turkey, zucchini, and tomatoes. So good. I'm gonna pour myself a cup of coffee and get to work. I am actually so pleasantly surprised with how this tastes. Yum. I'm pretty sure my egg is all the way cooked. I cooked it kind of like in the sauce. Pretty much, I have the whole day reserved for editing. I posted a video today, and I missed an upload last week because I had a crazy weekend. And that video that I was supposed to upload on Friday, it's still not even close to done, and that's my upload for today. Hopefully, I can get that done by like the afternoon, and then maybe start editing a second video, and then I have to set up my health insurance payment. Those are literally my only two things on my to-do list today. So, fingers crossed, it goes well. Health insurance is stressful when you don't have like a normal job. The irony is that I literally worked a job for almost three years that I could have had health insurance, but I was on my parents. Silly, silly, silly. Mm -hmm. Kind of feeling bougie as hell and drinking lemon water. I never do this. Honestly, never even, I feel like I needed to squeeze this more. I literally am just sticking my hand in my water right now. 
disgusting. I never do this. Mostly because I never have lemons, um, but I bought some lemons and limes, and I thought maybe during the day while I'm sitting and editing, I should drink more like lemon water. I uh, was trying to debate if I wanted to do anything later tonight, and I think I decided that I want to take a yoga class. I couldn't decide if I wanted to do a dance class or a yoga class, but I think I want to do the yoga class. I have not taken yoga in like a very long time. I have a very complex relationship with yoga because I feel like I don't like it much. It like causes me stress because I let my mind race, but I think it causes me stress because I'm not doing it correctly. I'm letting my mind race. Like the whole point is to like actively not make your mind race. So Tuesdays are big editing days. Oh, Bennett found like a little patch of sunlight on the floor. Not to brag, but I kind of feel like I have my shit together this week. I always say that and then something weird happens. Video done. Not uploaded, but it's done. It's ready to upload. Yoga's just an hour, so when I get back, I'll be able to upload it and everything, and it'll be up by eight. Why was that yoga class? so hard like i said i'm not really a yoga person but that was difficult i'm home i'm starving i had like a banana this morning and then i made my breakfast around like 11 and then i didn't really have like a real lunch i just had like some granola and then the carrots and hummus so i feel like i should have eaten more this afternoon i'm eating leftover butter chicken my new favorite meal this is about to be a jump scare she's alphaba just took a shower and now i'm doing a little a little self-care. My skin has been acting kind of weird and something that's been helping it has been putting raw honey on my face. So I put on one of my Primally Pure face masks, which the base is raw honey, and then there's like turmeric and other things in it. So I'm hoping this might help my face out a little bit, but I can't take myself seriously. So I'm gonna leave this on for 30 minutes, watch TV and eat my candied ginger. I've been really wanting gummies lately, like gummy worms and Swedish fish and stuff, and I was like, I feel like this is a better alternative. It's very good. Okay. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I can't remember if I talked about it in this vlog or a different vlog, but I'm obsessed with these road products. I've been wearing them for like five days now, so we're really still seeing if they're working, but they're supposed to be good for aerial dermatitis. Ooh, actually, I'm gonna ice roll first. Start with the glazing milk. I feel like it just leaves my skin feeling so hydrated. That was the peptide glazing fluid and then the barrier restore cream. I think there's something seriously wrong with my barrier. And then lastly, we're gonna do some sunscreen. That now I got all over the ground. That's great. Why am I dropping everything this morning? So I think I'm gonna do the same thing I did yesterday and go on a little walk. Also, I need to put on, this is my favorite product, the peptide lip treatment from Rode. So I'm gonna make my bed, make my tea, and head out. I am just ste seeping. Steeping? I don't know what the tea lovers say these days. Seep, seep, steeping my tea. Gotta add a little bit of honey. another editing day. I have a draft due to a brand tomorrow and then I have another video I need to post on Friday that I need to edit so I gotta edit two videos today. I have to film a brand deal. I'm gonna eat my breakfast, have a nice little walk through the park, drink my tea. It's like my new favorite routine. I was really toying with the idea of not having coffee completely but I hate that idea. I hate it and I need to make an egg. This pan feels a little big to make one little egg. I 
love this breakfast. For some reason, the egg is kind of creeping me out. I didn't, I don't know if I cooked it too long. All right. Uh, I'm gonna upload a ton of footage and start editing. I need to film my brand deal still, but we're gonna get to that. Made some phone calls, filmed my brand deal, having the rest of my leftover butter chicken for lunch. I've been trying to find more alternatives to drinking coffee. Um, not that I'm stopping drinking coffee anytime soon, but I feel like I need to like lower my intake of it. So I got this vanilla matcha from Chamberlain Coffee forever ago, and I'm gonna try it. Never been a big matcha fan, but I'm really hoping that I'll like this. So I need a teaspoon of matcha. This smells like shit. I just feel like I'm not gonna like this. I've only had matcha a few times and it's always been like different flavors, like a turmeric one. I mean, this one is vanilla, but it I thought it would maybe be yummier looking. I need to Google like how to make matcha better. Okay, I guess I'm gonna add some milk. Should I froth this baby up too? Okay, that doesn't taste nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna taste. Like, I kinda thought I was about to do a spit take. I'm gonna add a little bit of agave. Just a little. That's like not bad. Why is this good? It's definitely an acquired taste, but it's so pretty. I love how that looks. And this is like good for you. Just about time for my midday stomach ache. Matcha's banging though. I'm editing a weekend in my life vlog and I'm complaining about how I thought it was gonna be the week I got my shit together and then I didn't. Um, and now I'm feeling really proud of myself filming this vlog because I feel like I do have my shit together this week. Like I feel on top of it. I've gotten up in the morning, I've gone on walks, I'm eating healthy, I went to an audition, I'm getting a lot of work done, I'm posting things. I feel like I, I finally pulled it together. I'm feeling very proud of myself right now. Okay, anyways. Gonna keep editing. Just a little, little food for thought. I don't think I'm gonna go to the gym or take a class or anything. My friends are going to the store. They're gonna walk like a little bit. So I think I'm gonna go on a walk with my friends. Come back, make dinner, keep editing. Um, and that's, that's really it. Gotta, gotta be a little more social, you know? I haven't spoken to anybody all day except for you and my mom on FaceTime. stuffed with garlic. Yum. All right, time for dinner. I freaking love garlic and olives. A garlic stuffed olive, amazing. All right, I didn't realize the recipe called for a food processor. Um, I have a blender and I, I got out the heavy duty blender. I never get out. It's like to make tropical drinks. So we're gonna see if this works out. Um, I'm skeptical. I'm going to, for the first time in my life, attempt to poach an egg. So let's get a pot of water boiling. Okay, literally gonna pour this olive oil in and then here goes nothing. I'm a little nervous about this. I'm finding this concerning. Oh, I forgot the lemon. Do we see how I'm not really a cook? I'm starting to feel a little stressed. I actually feel like maybe we can work with this. Okay, we're getting somewhere. So I have my zoodles, but then I have the other zucchini. So I think I'm just also gonna chop that up and throw it in, cause why not? The zucchini was so cheap and apparently it's because it's the end of the summer. So they're about to go out of season.
That took like a lot of effort, but I kind of did it. So I haven't even tasted it yet. Hopefully it's good. All right, the moment of truth. Yeah. I'm just scared I'm still gonna be hungry. Like I would, I probably should have made chicken or something to put on it, but the recipe said an egg. We'll see. Well, I'm feeling like a little all over the place this morning. I like sat and thought long and hard about if I should go to my dance class at 10 a.m. or not, and I ultimately decided no. I still have like a ton of editing to do and I'm just nervous if I go to this dance class. I'm not gonna be back until like 12 or 12.30. It's currently like 9 a.m. I just still have a lot of editing and stuff to do. I'm nervous that I'm not gonna get all of my editing done, especially cause I have some deadlines and things due today and I'm busy tomorrow and I need a video uploaded tomorrow. So, um, but I am gonna go on a walk for like 20 or 30 minutes just to like move my body a little bit. I've been trying to make myself look just like a little presentable in the mornings. I'm also just kind of in like a frustrated mood right now. My face rash is like here still and it's annoying because I call it my travel face rash because if you're new here or if you don't, if you're familiar, I get this rash every single time I travel. And I've been trying to figure out like what causes it because it's been like to several different places and parts of the world and the same thing always happens. So I was like, maybe it's the plane. Then I was like, maybe it's salt. Then I was like, maybe it's something in the water. Can't figure it out. I've been to multiple dermatologists, but I've been back from traveling for almost two weeks now and it's super itchy right now and it's all flared up and it's so, it's just so frustrating to me because no one can figure out what's wrong. I've been to multiple dermatologists and it could just be like a case of perioral dermatitis. Literally all the dermatologists I've gone to don't seem that worried about it, but it's super, super frustrating. And like, I'm trying to do everything I can and all the research I can to figure it out, but it like doesn't matter what I do, it always comes back and it's so itchy and I just feel like it looks so terrible. And I know it's not that noticeable, like you're probably looking at me right now and being like, I don't really see anything, but it's just always like lingering here. And it's so frustrating because I just feel like my skin always looks terrible and it just feels bloated and it just feels like I just look bad every day, I don't know. Um, not to dump all that on you. It's like, that's like a big part of my health anxiety recently. Like I've been talking about that for months. A lot of people who are new have been asking me what my job is. My job is YouTube full-time. And a lot of people, sometimes meanly, are like, you can really make YouTube your full-time job with only 40,000 subscribers. And the answer is you can, because it's not really about the amount of subscribers you have. It's about your engagement rates and your views and your brand deals. And I have multiple streams of income. I get paid through YouTube. I get paid through my brand deals. I get paid through affiliate links. Am I saving money? Not that much, but I am able to afford my entire lifestyle myself. I got this apartment when I was working a full-time salary job. So that's kind of why I felt confident I could pay for it because I came into this apartment when I had like a very stable, well-paying job. And I had a lot of money saved up from that job. I got laid off at the end of December. Um, there was a massive company-wide layoff and I kind of made a promise to myself to like follow my dreams for the next year. So that's what's going on. Eventually, if I feel like I'm struggling, I'll get a coffee shop job or a retail job or another online job or something like that. But for right now, no need to worry, I'm doing good. Hope that clears things up. Okay, my face is so itchy. I'm just gonna try not to think about it. Gotta get some sunlight and by sunlight, I mean gray clouds because it looks disgusting outside. I have to have my lamp on. It's so incredibly dark outside. And it's 70 degrees, which is like a little chilly. I'm gonna wear this long sleeve shirt, cause why not? Um, and then I'm gonna make my tea. And then I forgot there's an audition sign up at 10. What does that mean, you ask? I'll tell you. Alongside me being a full-time YouTuber, I'm also an actor, obviously. I mean, you watch me go on an audition. Sorry if I seem kind of bummed out right now. I gotta get in a better mood. I'm like, I think I'm just really frustrated right now. <laughs> so, pre-COVID, there were these things called open calls. I mean, they still kind of happen, but they were very, very popular. Happened all the time. You would go to the audition studio, wait in a long line, get up super early, and hope to be seen. But now post COVID, it was initially due to COVID protocols, but now I just feel like people don't wanna do it anymore. They don't have these big general open calls where hundreds and thousands of people can show up. So they usually do an open call by having like a sign up genius or some sort of form that you sign up on. And it opens at a certain time and it's like first come first serve. So in five minutes, this form is gonna open and I have to, as fast as I can, put my name and email in and hopefully get a slot. So hopefully I will get a slot. 
Let's freaking do this. 30 seconds. I'm being a little dramatic. I remember last time it didn't fill, it filled up within the first five minutes. It wasn't like seconds, but you never know. People are insane. I went, that audition I went to on Monday, they thought only like 60 people were gonna show up and then like 300 or 400 showed up and it was insane. Did it. Decided to try a new recipe from my little recipe list I've been pulling from this week. This is an almond flour porridge. It's fine. It's made up of almond flour, flaxseed, oat milk, coconut, cinnamon, and then I added some honey on top. It's like an oatmeal type thing. It's all right. I'm going into major editing mode. I have a lot to do this afternoon in the next like four hours. And then tonight I have an event that we're going to. Okay, that porridge kind of sucked. I'm hungry. I need other food. Amazing news that it had worms. <laughs> and I just got the call that he's parasite free. You're parasite free. Are you happy? Okay, okay, okay. So that's good. Cause that was a big cause of my stress. And now he's on preventative stuff. So no chance he'll get him again. It's all good. But for some reason, like coffee's like grossing me out this week. And all I can think about is that matcha I made yesterday. So I think I want to make it again. I'm going to make a matcha and get a little bit of like more food. It's not porridge, which I didn't even know porridge was like a real thing people ate. I thought that's just like what fucking baby bear ate in, um, what is that story? <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? No, it's too hot. It's too cold. Goldilocks. I, I literally probably thought porridge was a made up food for like 20 years of my life. Can we see this darkness? It is like the gloomiest day in the world. Turn on a lamp. It's so bad. Made my matcha. Why am I becoming a matcha girl? And then I heated up what I ate for breakfast yesterday and the day before, the turkey and zucchini and tomatoes. And then I cut some carrots and cucumber with some hummus. I have a whole meal. Let's keep editing. I've been editing for 10 years. I need to take a shower. Um, I finished one video, sent that off to my managers. Currently in the middle of editing the one for tomorrow. It just, it takes so much longer to edit then I always remember. I have to leave in two hours. I'm probably gonna shower in the next 15 minutes because I wanna wash my hair and then we're gonna get ready. I've kind of controlled my rash like a little bit. All right, I'm feeling a little anxious because I have this event and as we know, I get really anxious when I go to events. If you remember, I've been sponsored a few times by the brand Water Drop, like tablets you put in your water. Um, they're hosting an event in Times Square tonight and I got invited. It's like tennis themed. I'm excited. I know one of the girls that's going through my management company, so I'll know at least one person. I'm feeling a little nervous, but I'm feeling very grateful I was invited. I have no idea what to wear. There's a dinner after, so I feel like just wearing like a black dress with sneakers is safe because it's like not too fancy but not too casual but i don't know i am not confident whatsoever that i'm wearing the right type of outfit we're just going for it so i'm gonna head out i don't know i don't know what the vibes of this are at all my hair it was so rainy and windy outside last night that my hair just felt disgusting even though i just washed it washed it again face rash feeling itchy as hell <laughs> what do we think of this shirt i thrifted it i'm pretty sure it's like a little boy's shirt because well maybe not i thrifted this like two years ago 
and I've never worn it. I just randomly pulled it out of my closet. I feel like you actually can't even see it. What if I wore this with jeans later? Is that fun? It says Oshkosh Baseball. I don't know. Anyways, what's in store for today? More editing. I feel like some editing weeks are way heavier than others. Like this just happens to be a heavy editing week. Didn't go on a walk this morning cause it's gloomy. It's like pouring down rain, it's gross out. I wanna go get coffee or some sort of caffeine to wake me up. I'm trying to decide if I wanna go get my caramelized coffee from Dunkin' or if I wanna go get the pumpkin chai. It's like there's like a new pumpkin cream cold foam chai drink. Let's go, let's switch it up. Let's go to Starbucks. I also found a random Starbucks gift card in my backpack. So I'm adding this card to my account and I literally have no idea how much is on it. Pretty sure my dad got this at like a business conference thing when we were in Vegas. This was like months ago and he was like, here, do you want this Starbucks card? And then I forgot about it and then I found it in my backpack. $5, whatever, I'll take it. But I just realized I have a million different little Starbucks gift cards, so maybe we can combine those. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm taking off this shirt. Okay, much better. I'm feeling loungy, that felt too put together. I'm about to order this drink. If I want it with oat milk, and then if I want it with a shot of espresso, it's gonna be $10 for this freaking drink. That's so stupid. It's not even a venti. I'm like, if I upped it to a venti, what would it be? Interesting. It'd be 9.50 for a grande, and it would be 10.13 for a venti. I feel like at that rate, if I'm gonna get this drink, if I'm all in, I should just get the venti because that's technically a better deal. I compiled all my gift cards, I have like 12 bucks, so. Okay, I guess we're doing this. My first pumpkin drink of the season, even though I literally just went on a rant the other day about how I hate that pumpkin stuff comes out in August because I want it to still be summer, but eh, it's raining today, it feels like fall. It's impressive of me that I'm getting chai because I feel like I'm gonna try to make the switch to not have coffee every day, but not yet. So that's why I added a shot of espresso into this because I need a little, a little something. But I've never wanted to do that. I've never accepted that. I've always been like, I only want coffee, but recently my matchas in the afternoon have been tasting better than my coffee in the morning. Let's go pick it up. And then I have so much editing to do. Ridiculous order, $10, so stupid. I'm just justifying it, buying myself a little Friday treat, and then hopefully I hate it, so I never have to buy it again. Hey, Bennett. So true. Listen, I know I've been a absolute pumpkin hater. Not the actual flavor, I love pumpkin drinks. Just like them coming out so early, but the first sip of this, that did something to me. It needs to be mixed. It's so good. I know the cold foam is like the point, but I feel like there's more stuff in here that needs to be mixed. Oh, baby. I haven't had a chai in like months. I am so pleased right now. Gotta edit, upload a video, and then I'm gonna go meet my friend Gary down in the Lower East Side to buy pickles. I'll explain more of that later. It is, oh my God. I'm literally dressed like a pumpkin. I didn't even think about that. I just made the rash decision to film all the way through Sunday this week to do like a pure Monday to Sunday week in my life. But I feel like this vlog is gonna be like 45 minutes, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Having my zoodles and I'm gonna, gonna attempt to poach an egg again. The shirt is back. With jean shorts, I feel like it's cute. I don't know, I can't tell. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, but I'm gonna head out, go meet my friend Gary to get pickles. Um, I wanted to go to the pickle guys and get pickled garlic, and my friend Gary lives down there, so I'm gonna go meet him down there, get some pickles, and then come back up and then post my video because it's still not up, so that's the plan. On the Lower East Side, let's go get some pickles. Also, Eldridge Street is right behind me. Right there, spelled wrong though. I need to film in case your head explodes. Just went to the pickle guys, got my pickles. 
And my friend Gary met up and had the spiciest thing of his life. Feel my tongue. <laughs> and my nose is running. And my eyes are watering. And it's starting to like take over my whole mouth. <laughs> okay, I think we're acting a little too calm. So let's... Oh! Ice cold beer? Slices? I'm getting beer. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, the subway is not that bad getting to and from the Lower East Side. I always feel like it's so far away. It's really not that bad. I gotta get this video up. Um, but first I gotta eat my garlic. So I met my friend Gary there, but then after he tried that really spicy pepper, he like needed something to drink, so we like ran into this little bar. And then he ordered a beer to make his mouth stop being on fire. And then we were like, mm, should we just sit here and eat pizza and have a beer? So we did. So I got some garlic for my friend Maggie. She wanted me to pick her up some. I got two pickles. I got pickled pineapple and then I got pickled garlic. I've definitely had the pickled pineapple like once before. The pickled garlic is my everything. This place that the pickle guys pickles like literally everything. And we started getting pickled garlic like my sophomore year of college. Mmm, it's so good. A whole clove of this baby. I got two normal pickles, but I'm gonna eat those later. Yum. It's just so delicious. Um, don't really feel like cooking dinner and I'm out of all my leftovers, so I think I'm gonna order a salad from Lenwich. I would honestly go pick it up, but no time. This video should have been out hours ago. You know what? I'm gonna go crazy and get a side. Okay, what is this beeping? It's terrible. Gonna get a side of their crazy fries, which is blue cheese and horseradish. All right, I'm meeting up with my friend Bailey. We're going to a bar. Gonna hang out a little bit, and then I'm gonna come back and go to bed. <laughs> Why am I, li I'm literally crying right now. I'm just so frustrated with my skin. It's so bad this morning. And like, I have the rash here and here. And my eyes are puffy and like I feel so stupid that I'm literally crying I know people deal with like a lot worse stuff but I think it's just the fact that like I can't figure out what's wrong with me I've gone to two different dermatologists I've gone to like ENT I've gone to like a normal doctor I, just, I feel like I've gone to like a million doctors some that aren't even really relevant to this and like no one seems to really be concerned or care I don't know I think it's perioral dermatitis but like because like this really looks like it but like the rash on my chin just doesn't like parts of it look like perioral dermatitis, but then like the dry, like big rash of it is like, it feels like that's not it. And it's on my chin, which I guess doesn't really happen. And then my eyes get really swollen and dry sometimes too. And I just don't know. It used to only flare up by traveling, but I think this past weekend I swam in a saltwater pool and then it felt irritated after. And now it's been terrible all week. So I'm like, is that something to do with salt? Like I can't figure it out. And I'm so frustrated. I'm just super frustrated. And I know I look terrible right now, but what you gonna do? That's my face. Like... I'm not gonna try to pretend that I look like super pretty and amazing. I literally was saying the other day, like, I feel... <laughs> I don't even like to consider myself an influencer because I feel like I just don't... I guess that's the term for what I do and what this is, but I don't know. I just don't feel like I belong in that space and I feel like at these events and at things, everyone always shows up so, like, perfect and pretty and they know exactly what to wear and, like, their content is perfect and pretty and I feel like I, like... <laughs> my videos are me talking about my rash then I show up to these events and I feel like a loser like I don't I don't know I don't know what's going on this morning I'm just feeling like emotional so I'm gonna go on a walk I'm, I'm done crying I'm done it's not even like I'm sad I'm just like angry I'm angry I'm sick of looking like so terrible all the time like I feel so insecure to like be out in public and go places and then I feel like I have to put on a ton of makeup to try to hide it but then I feel like that makes it worse because I'm putting makeup on over it happy Saturday I've been using these like road products that I ordered because apparently Hailey Bieber has perioral dermatitis and like that's like a big mission of like their skincare brand. So I've been using her products, but I don't know if that's like too intense for me, like while I'm having a flare up of it. Like, I don't know if that's making it worse. Like if I just need to go back to like just a moisturizer, I just, I don't even know. 
I'm always Googling this, which is probably so bad. Like I shouldn't be Googling everything, like trying to figure out what's wrong with me. And I never thought to look on TikTok. So I literally searched like perioral dermatitis, like chin or whatever, and face. And I'm like watching all these TikToks of these girls who are struggling so hard with perioral dermatitis. And I feel so bad for them. Like, because no one knows how to fix it. Like people know like things, that, why am I crying right now? This is so stupid. People know like, oh. I really love that I have a cat because I feel like he gives comedic relief for these kind of situations. Anyways, there are so many people that are struggling with this. No one can really figure it out because there's just things you can do to make it better, but like no one knows why, no one knows how. Like, there's like things you can do to improve it, but like there's nothing you can really do to like cure it, I guess. I don't know. Since the beginning of 2022, my face has looked like this like at least once a month, I feel like. That's my skincare issues. I'm like, I literally was very lucky growing up. I never had to deal with acne. I, I had like perfect skin growing up. Um, so I keep saying like, I guess this is uh, why I gotta deal with weird skin stuff now. Cause I didn't have to as a kid. I was pretty lucky. I don't know. I just wanted to talk about it for a minute. Cause what, I don't want you to be like, what, why does her face look like that? And two, I'm just sick of seeing people coming on the internet being like, my life is so perfect. When like everyone has shit going on. And I'm not saying like my shit is like worse than someone else's. In the scheme of things, this isn't like, I can deal with this, you know? But I just, it's so itchy and like my face like burns and itches and it's like so uncomfortable and frustrating. All right, I think I, I was gonna go to the gym. I haven't gone to the gym all week. I took that one yoga class. This is the longest vlog in the entire world, by the way. Like I, I literally can't even remember what I've done this week. I don't know why I'm doing a full week in my life, but that's where we're at right now. This week has been kind of weird because like I had my audition, but I haven't really gone to dance classes. I haven't gone to the gym. I think it's because I'm starting a new gym routine because I stopped doing my personal training app I was using. It just got too expensive. So I took like a yoga class and stuff and like I've been going on really long walks every day. So I was thinking about doing that right now, but I feel like I just need to walk outside. It's so nice outside. I'm feeling really overwhelmed and flustered. I think that's gonna be the best for me. I'm gonna drink my ginger turmeric tea. Then I have a friend's birthday party. Surprise, surprise, later today. It's the summer birthdays. All of my friends have their birthdays in the summer. That was some heavy stuff for Saturday morning, but good morning. Let's go on a walk. Yeah, we did. We got all. <laughs> you. We got all. Girl, you're gonna be in my vlog two days in a row because it's a full week in my life. <laughs> this is going. Anything that you guys do on camera is liable to be in my vlog. What? You want to? Uh huh. I made all of you guys sign a contract at the beginning of the year. Um, but we did an escape room for my friend Kevin's birthday. I never actually introduced that or said that, and it was a blast. And now we are headed to the next location. I know I didn't vlog that much today. I was feeling a little low about my face all day. I had a good time today though. We were celebrating my friend Kevin's birthday today. So we went to an escape room and then we went to our friend Chip's house and had like a little cookout. He has a backyard and like a really big apartment. Um, and then I just took the subway home. It took like an hour, but I'm home. Um, and it just turned midnight. It was like a nice chill birthday party. We just played some games, hung out. I didn't drink anything. So I'm gonna have a productive Sunday tomorrow. I think I'm gonna get up early go to the gym, I get my nails done, I was supposed to do that today, and then I didn't, because I had my melt on about my skin. <sighs> but it's fine, nothing I can do except for what I've been doing to take care of it, and we'll figure it out. Um, and then I said I was gonna take a dance class tomorrow, but I've changed my mind again. I like how I've just been pushing off my dance classes all week. But I have two auditions next week, and one of them, they sent the audition combo in advance to learn. Um, it's a dance combo. So I think I am going to rent out a studio 
and try to learn it. So I'm ahead of the game. Tomorrow should be a fun and productive Sunday and the last day of this million hour vlog. I'm gonna get ready for bed and I'll chat with you tomorrow. Good morning. I feel like I can't really move my face. I'm gonna put a little more lotion on. My rash is a little bit better. I'm not gonna try to cover it up or anything today um, because I want it to like heal and I don't really have anywhere crazy to go. I am currently meeting my friend Kevin at the gym and then we're gonna get our nails done because these nails are grown so long and then we'll go from there. So, good morning, let's go to the gym. Cheers. <laughs> New nails. Oh my God, New nails. Um, me and Kevin just got our nails done. We went to the gym. We got our Dunkin'. And look at these fresh manicures. This was my first manicure ever in my life. All right, got back a little bit ago. Had the rest of my zoodles. Made a poached egg, put it on top. I think I'm actually gonna play piano for like 20 minutes because I have not played it all week. I feel like I need something therapeutic to do because I'm still a little pissed about my skin. Also, do we see all these clothes here? This happened over the course of the last two days. I'm gonna have to clean these up. They're all clean. They're literally just stuff I tried on and didn't wanna wear. My rash looks so bad from this angle. I, I'm sorry, I know I won't shut up about it. I'm just like so annoyed. I love this Lawrence song, but the guy sings it, so it's not in an ideal key for me. So I, and I'm like switching between octaves. Sing I work until the sunrise In a noon I'm still asleep Why was that just like me stumbling through this song? Okay, I'm gonna play for a little bit, but probably not record the rest. I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, so for the last two hours, I don't really know what I was doing. I was kind of playing piano, singing. Uh, I have an audition and they sent the dance call ahead of time. So I was kind of like preliminary looking over that. Um, I literally love how every single day of this vlog since Thursday, I've been like, I'm gonna take a dance class. And then I don't. And then I said, instead of a dance class, I was gonna rent out a rehearsal studio, <laughs> but I'm not doing that anymore. Um, I'm just gonna learn it in my apartment and then rent out a rehearsal studio in the morning because the audition's not till the afternoon. So it's like fresh in my mind tomorrow. Um, and I don't feel like paying for a rehearsal studio two days in a row or a dance class and a rehearsal studio. Next week, I will be taking like four or five dance classes because my friend Emily will be in town. She's staying with me and we have many dance classes planned. So honestly, should save my money. I'm like about to do like a no spend September because I have spent so much money this summer on like birthdays and social outings and trips. So I'm trying to cut back. I do want to go grocery shopping before the week starts. So I think I'm going to head to the grocery store, pick up some things and kind of clean my apartment and call it a day. I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm literally not doing a second grocery haul in this vlog because I'm pretty sure I did one at the beginning of the week. And that honestly just means I've been vlogging for way too long if I'm able to do a second grocery haul. I'm going to, I'm going to sign off now. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was kind of, I don't even know if this was just a realistic week in my life, if this was like me resetting. I feel like I started instilling some healthier habits. I know I didn't go to the gym, I didn't take any dance classes, but I got outside a lot and got on like a good schedule, took a yoga class. And I'm trying to like make myself be okay with my weeks not looking the same and trying not to beat myself up if I'm not as active some weeks as I am other weeks. Um, Cause every week has like a different priority. I'm trying to like be nicer to myself because I still got a lot of things done this week that I should be proud of. So I have no idea how long this vlog is gonna be. My guess is like, it's gonna be 42 minutes. That's my guess. Thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.